Okay, we're following breaking news and following up on our interview last night. New unredacted names from the Jeffrey Epstein list. They are out tonight. The most notable new name is magician David Copperfield, as well as names we've heard before, including Prince Andrew, former President Bill Clinton, and Limited Brands founder Lex Wexner. With more on tonight's unsealings, we are joined once again by former federal prosecutor Fred T.C. I'm glad that you were able to hop on with us tonight for your reaction. Good call. So, what is your reaction? Uh, legal term. Wow. Not what I, not at all what I expected. Now, I expected a lot of kind of mundane, uh, you know, arcane stuff that lawyers think is important. That's why people don't like to go to cocktail parties with lawyers. Um, but the bottom line is, is that a lot of this stuff is kind of really, uh, um, I don't want to say earth shattering, uh, but, but, but the type of documents, the photographs, the deposition testimony, the deposition exhibits, a lot of the information, the cross examinations of the lawyers, a lot of the stuff is kind of a treasure trove of information. Now, you know, a lot of these documents, people say they've seen out in kind of social media, already a lot of the photographs um but now they're coming out of a court case so that's a completely different that's a horse of a different color yeah well i'm going to ask you what that means but first i mean going back to your legal term of wow what is most <laughs> shocking i actually think what's most shocking to me was i didn't expect to see photographs i didn't expect to see kind of the evidentiary issues that we saw i didn't expect to see kind of pointed testimony that we that we saw about stuff i mean this the testimony about you know whether president clinton likes some like some young i mean i thought that was kind of devastating now it could spin that a bunch of different ways and that's hardly enough to kind of convict the guy maybe in the court of public opinion um but just a lot of the stuff that you know i thought it was just going to be kind of wonky legal stuff and not well, um, obviously, uh, former President Clinton has long denied any wrongdoing. Uh, he didn't deny knowing Epstein. That's hard to do because there's plenty of pictures uh, with him. Um, let's get to now why this is so significant. You just brought that up yourself about now that this was on social media before, but now they're in court documents. What Correct. does this mean? Correct. Well, I, I mean, to the extent that people don't believe what they see on social media and on the Internet already, uh, but now give some semblance of validity, some semblance of truth to documents and information that people have seen before. I think it's kind of a, a little bit more uh, specific. The information is a little bit more specific. Um, it gives kind of insights into a lot of things. I mean, the denial by uh, Maxine, and I can always get her name wrong, but the denial of kind of interactions with Prince Andrews, the, the testimony about forcing young women uh, to engage in sex acts with various people, various now named individuals, people who we know that was. I mean, it's, it, 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 and you know, I, it, I, you and I talked about this last night, it would boggle my mind that there weren't people out there, prosecutors, um, district attorneys, law enforcement, that weren't aware of these kind of things. And quite frankly, if they were, they should have been acting upon them, irrespective of whether or not Mr. Epstein met an untimely demise. And I use that term loosely. Um, so I don't know. I mean, if okay. there's stuff there, if the statute of limitations hasn't run, if there's if there's things that can be done, mm -hmm. this may be the impetus to get it. Get it going. Let me ask you this last question here because we have less than a minute. I mentioned David Copperfield uh, is listed. Uh, who should be more worried tonight? Is he one of them? I don't think he is. You know, it's interesting. I, I saw the thing about Copperfield, and the only testimony that I saw, and again, I haven't had a chance to read everything, but the only thing I saw about Copperfield was a comment or a question by him about what was kind of going on. I saw no specific allegations that he engaged in kind of anything untoward. I mean, I, I will say this and get back to the wow thing. You, you know, it's one thing to kind of know what's going on. It's another thing to read the disgusting, troubling, very horrible um, details about kind of what was going on, the way these young women were basically trafficked for sex across country lines and, and it's and across countries. And it was just, it's, it's horrible. It's yeah. horrible to believe that this goes on. Yeah. Naive to think it, it doesn't. It's but disgusting. It's it is dis disgusting. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. appreciate you jumping on really sort of last minute here. Former federal prosecutor Fred TC. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Take care. Have a good night. Okay.